Hey guys, today we're going to be working on three different crafts that you can do with your kids, and these are for Halloween. And right now I have my seven year old. He wants to help. For the first one, we're going to make a snow globe. So we have a hot glue gun, and we have a couple little plastic skulls. I did get these from the dollar store. So we're going to hot glue them together. And the jar I got from Hobby Lobby. And the, the lid right there sitting off to the side has a plastic middle. And I wasn't exactly sure if this lid was going to be durable or not. So I went ahead and hot glued this down into the jar. But that didn't, that didn't work. So later on I did have to um, clean off the lid and I used hot glue and E6000 and the lid the lid did just fine it doesn't leak or anything So for the mix, I have about two and a half cups of water, and then I'm going to add about a half a cup of vegetable glycerin, and then I'm going to add about a half a cup of clear Elmer's glue, and I'm just going to mix all that together and then dump it in to the jar. I like my snow globe mixture to be... A little thicker I I guess when it, when you put the glitter in it it'll move more slowly so if you want it to move faster you're gonna do less glue if you want it to move slower add more glue you'll just have to mess with your mixture until you get it the way you want it Now I let my son pick out some glitters that we thought would look good in here for Halloween. So we have purple, a black, a silver with some little stars in it, and we have an orangey mix. And then in those two skinny tubes, one is a black holographic and the other one is a light purple. And... I can't remember where those came from. Maybe Hobby Lobby. And the silver might have came from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I can't remember. And then the other glitters are from somebody who doesn't sell glitter anymore. So just use whatever you have on hand or whatever you like.
we also thought it would be fun to add some of these rings. Um, so we have a spider ring, a bat ring, and a skull ring. And I just took my craft knife and cut the ring part off. And then we put them in. And it was cute, except for they float. So, but that's okay. Once you have everything in it that you want, you can put the lid on and shake it up. The next craft is a mini witch's broom, and it turned out pretty cute. So we're gonna start off with some sticks. We just picked these from the yard, and some raffia. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to gather it all and then cut the ends off so it's all one length. And I could not find my good scissors. These ones are not sharp at all. Next, I'm just gonna do a little measuring. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it at the end of the stick. I'm gonna line up the ends of the raffia at the end of the stick, and I'm gonna fold it over and just see how long I want my my broom to be. And then I'm just gonna cut it off, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put the ends of the raffia with the end of the stick. And then we're going to tie it about an inch up, half an inch to an inch or so. And then I'm gonna spread the raffia around the stick and then fold it 
back down. I'm going to make sure I have all of the stick covered and um, and it's going to look like a broom at this point. Once you have it looking like you want, then you're going to tie it. Again, we're just using an extra piece of raffia here to tie it up. And then we're going to use that black ribbon right there and put a little bow on it. And we're also going to trim the ends because it's a little long right now and a little shaggy looking. So we're going to trim it up and make it nice and straight. Didn't that turn out super cute? I like this. And the third craft we're going to do is a garland. And I do have my 10 year old. He decided he wanted to make a craft also. Uh, so I have all kinds of things here. I went to the dollar store and just got a bunch of stuff. So we have some bats, some pumpkins, some ribbon, some twine, some tool, some beads, and those um square beads I did paint some black you can kind of see off to the side there um, I only used the black ones I did not use the ones that are in the package still but we're starting off here with these little styrofoam pumpkins and we're using a metal straw to poke a hole in these um, see like that one that didn't that doesn't look good so we did have to mess around and see what was gonna work for us so if you poke a hole on one side and then put your finger over the straw on the other side, it does leave an indent and you can see where you need to um, poke the hole on that side. And if you do it on both sides, it did help.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my ribbon. I cut these about 10 inches, give or take. If you want them longer, you can do it longer. I thought this was just fine. I didn't need them super long. I didn't know what order I was going to go in, so I just started with a pumpkin and put that on. And then I do a piece of ribbon. And then I do six of the black beads. But then I change it up. So now we're going to switch it up. So after those six black beads, I did a ribbon and then I did a pumpkin. And then I have these beads over here, the these colorful ones and the black ones. So I'm going to go black color, black color. And I still did the six black ones. So I did five colorful ones. And I'm going to stick with that pattern for the rest of the way. So it'll be ribbon, pumpkin, black bead, colored bead, six black, five colored. And I'm gonna do that pattern all the way down. So now I have finished with the whole piece of twine. I've made it to the end and I have found a couple other things that I wanted to add in here. I found some bat ribbon left over from a wreath that I did before and um, these skull ribbons also. And so we're just gonna start adding these things in. So for the bat ribbon, I did one on each end and then I just kind of spaced the other two out like in the middle. And then I put one of these skull ribbons in the middle. And then the same thing with these bat clips. I just did one towards each end and then space to the other two out and somewhere in the middle and I've also added tool as well I think I cut this about the same 10 inches long and I added it I don't remember I think I did two with tool skipped one two with tool skipped one I think that might have been the pattern I did with that but if you want to make a garland, you make yours however you want.
I think all three of these crafts turned out really cute. And if you guys make any of these, comment below. Let me know. Make sure you guys give this a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Thank you.